Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Fun Match tutorial on in store displays. It's great to see some of you today. We, have, we don't have a very large crowd, but that's okay. We're going to be recording this event, and anyone who comes late or maybe misses it, they'll be able to access it on our website. Um, for today's event, please put your questions in the chat function if you have any, and I'll answer them after the presentation. The tutorial will be about 20 minutes, and um, with that, if you give me a moment, we can get started. Okay, our agenda today includes the Wasada mission, preparing early, required origin statement, in-store displays, claim documentation, and our wrap-up. Wasada's mission is to increase international growth of Western agribusinesses by providing financial support, export readiness, and business development services. Our 2033 goal is to have Western agribusinesses thrive in world markets. Now we're just going to jump right into it. Um, first step is to prepare early for all of your campaigns. Prepare early and sign on to your Wasada dashboard and check out if you have finalized your fund match contract. Make sure that your contract is amended and that you have your invoices paid. In addition, make sure that the country market that you select for your campaign is listed. If it's not, simply amend it as necessary. Um, that will be done electronically at the dashboard as well. Are the products used in the campaign listed on your product list? Add those as well as needed. Now, when you do additions to the country market and the product list, it'll take about seven days to approve, and you'll receive that approval by email. Now this slide kind of outlines the fund match process from application to reimbursement. The first piece of this is the fund match consultation. Generally, I do those. I meet with all uh, new companies or existing companies and discuss their marketing plans for the coming year. You submit your application online at your dashboard. It currently is a $250 fee for um, a application fee. However, those fees are going up in the next year. So keep an eye on that. Once the application is submitted, it is reviewed by our fund match manager and it's reviewed for the allocation or the funding levels. You'll receive a contract to sign and also a 6% admin fee invoice. At that point, you're eligible to conduct your activities. And what's those activities? You've gathered your documentation. You kind of upload them to your desktop or laptop. And then it's ready for the process of submitting the claim online at your dashboard again. And um, once we receive the claim, it'll be reviewed. If we need any additional information, we'll request it from you and work with you. And once the claim is approved, it is sent for funding and it's dispersed to the company. Now we're going to talk about a really important part of the of this particular activity, and that is the origin statement. You know, the origin statement is the cornerstone of the fund match program, and it is a requirement on both your product labels and within your activity. This is page six from our fund match guide. It outlines the correct and acceptable origin statements, and they are the top four. Product of the USA, grown in the USA, made in the USA. If you determine that you want to use your state, then you would have to fill out your state name in full. Product of California or grown in Oregon. Review this page 
whenever an activity comes up to be sure that your origin statement and brand promotion meets our guidelines. And one area to keep track of is your products. All activities must include approved products from your current fund match application. If you market other brands or products that are not approved, the activity will be prorated. And this applies to trade shows, missions, displays, demos, all activities for fund match. For example, if a company has a temporary display campaign with four products and two of those do not qualify or are not approved for fund match, the entire claim would be prorated at 50% just based upon the approved products only, and then reimbursed at 50%. Your total, for example, if your total claim is $5,000, at 50% is 2,500, that should be the reimbursement. But since it's prorated, it'll be redu reduced again by 50% to 1,250 instead of the 2,500. So, um, if you ever have any questions regarding this, feel free to reach out and we can guide you through the process. If you need to add new products, because many times when you're doing these demos, it's to introduce a new product or to um, promote a new product in that market. Um, just sign on to your Wasada dashboard, add your new products, upload your labels, and complete the submission. And again, it'll take a few days um, to get that approval, but uh, just make sure that your product list is always current. Okay, in-store displays. Let's, uh, it's very simple as far as the eligible expenses. Temporary displays that promote the brand name and valid origin statement are needed. Point of sale materials, must all have the US origin statement on it. And that would include posters, banners, sales sheets, brochures, leaflets, or shelf talkers. The production of cartons that convert to a shelf display, that's eligible as well, as long as you have your origin statement and brand promotion on it. Freestanding displays constructed of temporary materials, Cardboard bins or shelving units, they're all eligible. Temporary labor for display design and setup, that's eligible. Uniforms that promote the brand and have a valid origin statement on it, um, such as aprons or caps or t-shirts. Giveaways are eligible, up to $4 per unit. And since giveaways are small in nature, the U.S. origin statement is not required on the giveaway item, but on everything else it is. Rental of the floor space or product promotion. If you have like end caps or gondola displays, island displays, the floor space for rental is eligible. And space rental for the promotional materials as well. Sometimes that will um, incur charges. Now, ineligible expenses are, you know, if you conduct a campaign and you don't have your brand name or origin statement within it, that's not going to be eligible. Anything that's a slotting fee or listing fee, that's not eligible. Product placement fees in non-temporary or seasonal areas. Any activity tied to the purchase of product or associated with a coupon or price reduction. Giveaway items that do not promote the brand. And cost of product. Freight and shipping materials, those are also ineligible. And also too, if it's to promote the company name or does not have the brand name on it, if one not the same. Now, some of the claim documentation that you'll need is for an in-store display would be an invoice, um, proof of payment, your list of products being promoted, dates and locations of the space rental, and your photos. And it, we're gonna break it down a little bit more specifically on this slide. 
If you're claiming expenses for display space rental only, you need photos of the display at each location at least one per month of your campaign. Photos must display your brand name and have a valid origin statement. If claiming expenses for display production only, photos of the display unit in its entirety, sampling of photos or display units in use at promotional activities. And photos must be a good size. They must be large, all-encompassing, displaying your brand name and US origin statement in a manner easily observed. What we've has happened before is we'll receive very small images of these um, displays. And so we need to have something that's more substantial so that we can easily read it. If claiming expenses for display production or space rental, photos of the display unit entirely, at least one photo per month per location is required. Photos must be large scale, all encompassing, displaying your brand name and US origin statement. Now, after your claim or your campaign is completed, you're ready to submit a claim. Upload your documents to the desktop or laptop and log into your dashboard and you can begin the online claim submission process. This shows kind of screenshots of what that looks like. You'll select the fund match program, the claim tile, and this orange button here that says start claim and um, it will prompt you along to upload your documentation and your photos and your invoices and your proof of payment. Now the claims process timeline is uh, it, it takes about 60 days total. It can take up to that long. Participant submits reimbursement claim online within 60 days of the completion of the activity. And then when we receive the claim electronically, we'll review it. We try to review them within 30 days of submission. If the claim is incomplete, Wasada will request the documentation and the company has 15 calendar days to provide the requested documentation. Payment may take up to 14 days to be dispersed to the company from the time of approval. And I thought I'd bring up at this point is we now have ACH payments and you can access the application for that at our website so that you can get a quicker reissue. And then finally, some tips for success. One of those will be with me. <laughs> You'll meet with me and I provide program focused consultations. I'm at Diana at wasada.org and I'm able to go out there and, you know, we can target your specific campaigns and what you're going to spend on them and set your marketing plans. And then I can walk you through the claims process as well. So. Always, if you have any questions with regard to claim submission or applications or submitting um, any document, additional documentation, please reach out to me by email and I can guide you through that. And the second piece of this is the Fund Match Guide. It's found on the website under resources and definitely I would use that whenever you're planning a campaign. We also have a review, we have example claims and tutorials on the website. This tutorial will be there as well, and you can revisit it if needed for your next display campaign. So finally, thank you for attending our webinar today, and uh, we so appreciate your time and effort. It, if you have any questions, you can put them into the chat real quick. It'll take me a moment to redo my um, screens here and uh, we'll get that taken care of. Thank you, Diana. You bet.